Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. Strap yourselves in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Featuring Hopcat. I hope you guys are ready to get scammed. Little Z. <laughs> not by this podcast, though. <laughs> this podcast is not a scam. I bought a Pokemon card. Hey guys, it's Jordan, Fire Emblem fan, Ridley here. And special guest. Hello, everyone. Sorry for Rays. Here Woo. to enjoy Christmas. Woo. Welcome. We have no Jackson and no book we- to organize us today, so we're going to be off the rails. Yeah, I was going to yeah, say, we coming killed up, him. Coming up on the podcast. Mystery. I don't know. <laughs> we don't have the book. Jackson brings a little notebook for anyone who doesn't uh, watch that regularly or doesn't see it, but yeah, we have a little a notebook. Bit tyrannical recently. We sort of stopped getting a say. He just writes stuff down in the book. You know? yeah, so he he, says, it was like a, what's it called with the pirates and you get sick of him? Mutiny. Mutiny. Uh, it's been a mutiny. Yeah, so we've killed him and instated first mate 74 Rays as the new captain. Yep. So oh, you've uh, stopped dating Jackson and now you're dating 74 <laughs> No, no, no. Yeah, how's change been? <laughs> now 74 Rays is spending all the time on the podcast. I'm dating Jackson. Oh, oh okay. Sorry. I, 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 I Got need a lot of your time. You know what I mean? And a podcast doesn't line up with that. Has that been fun? Uh, no, he's way too tall. No. Every time I, every time we hug, it's just a face full of titties. And it's just, normally that's a good thing, but he's so bony. Dude, you know the annoying thing? Holly- he's he's going to edit this podcast. <laughs> he's going to listen to the first two minutes and be like, oh, what the fuck, guys? This is all getting cut, so we'll have to do a second intro after we keep... <laughs> Holly and I have that, because I have figured out, I have very <laughs> short, stubby arms. Yes, and me too. Sh- oh, dude. So when we hold hands, well, Sophie's a bit taller than Holly. When we hold hands, it's like her hand has to like go upwards to like reach my hand. Same. Yeah, it's so, so annoying. I'm, I'm taller than Sophie, but her arms hang. What, is that lower or higher than mine? Lower. It's uh, just my completely limbs are lower. fucked. It's my just, yeah. Holly and I have the exact same length of arm, but I think I'm like mm. six inches taller than her Damn. or something. So, mm. you know what a difference no, six even inches more, can make. Seven inches, which is. Oh, oh big boy. That is huge. That's above average. So, uh, difference between heights. our hands sit seven <laughs> inches different. That's Holy super annoying. Crap. Yeah, it's so annoying. <laughs> so I would also be a terrible like boxer. Yo, yeah, oh yeah, dude. It's actually hell bad for all sports to like have. They call it ape index. It's like ape index. Yeah, <laughs> how long your arm span is versus your height because they're uh, meant to be the same. Yeah, mine's but, a lot shorter. Yeah, mine's a bit shorter, but not a lot shorter. It's the annoying. only thing it's good for is like lifting, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it makes you more like powerful for flipping people over you for jujitsu. So that's good. That's why I like short dudes Does get it? jacked. No, I, th- I think you have less talk. Oh. talk. No, but like the muscle, like, and you, okay, picture this. You got like a lever or you're holding something on a really long stick. Yeah. It's harder to lift the end up the longer the stick is. It's like, gonna, yes. It's going to break. And yes. so it's like, that's how your muscles work. Like they lift it's, ah, it's the length of the lever. That's why I'm so strong. Yeah. That's why you can just flip people over your head. Oh, it makes sense. I was wondering that. That's why you're cracked at jujitsu, right? Yeah, jujitsu. I'm always flipping everyone around. Have you entered a tournament yet? No, I'm thinking of doing that like kind of middle of next year because there's going to be a tournament when we're in Japan. Mm. And then the next one's in like May. I thought you were talking about Smash tournaments. No, no, oh, no, jiu-jitsu no, jiu-jitsu tournament. tournament. I was like, have you entered one yet? I was like, have you met the man? <laughs> <laughs> I've entered a few actually. Oh no. no, you wouldn't catch me. <laughs> Imagine me and Jordan in finals of a jiu-jitsu tournament. <laughs> Might be the only thing I hate more than finals of a Smash tournament. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Oh, you'd just be rear naked choke holding me and yeah. I don't know how to do this no, shit. I wanna, yeah, I want to prep a bit for that because I am not ready. It seems and quite And I do scary. not want to get... Injured. Uh, what sort of tournament would I be best, most likely to beat Jordan in? Picture. Competitive croc wearing. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, I've never done that. So Anything else? Any other ideas? Because I might host one. Yeah, you host know? a bunch of <laughs> a tournament like of every... <laughs> you just keep versing. Definitely a battle of the bands. Anything music Anything Oh, musical. yeah. Jordan's sure. fucked. Battle of the bands. Other than the recorder, I was pretty nasty. Uh, yeah, Zach would cook you on the recorder. Yeah. Hot cross buns, I still remember it. Okay. You're going to have to do better than that, mate. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> um, yeah, anything musical, anything... Styling facial hair? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's There's a lot of tourists that actually, going Zobie. around. Oh, why? You just call out Jordan for having bad facial hair. What the hell? Well, I'm just, no, it's not long enough to style. Beard. Yeah, I don't really have anything. Not long enough on. to style. Yeah, why does he even have it? Eh? <laughs> All right, that's it's settled a then. Bad vision competition. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I'm going to host <laughs> Perth's f- <laughs> first. It's like one of those eye charts in the <laughs> optometrist, you lose, but you, you have to say every letter wrong. Yes. But if you can see them, you can't purposely say them wrong. Yeah, that's, that's against cheating. the rules. Yeah. I would be screwed. <laughs> yeah. You got me. All right. Should we start with my game? Yes. Yeah, we got a 
little game. All right. So you know how we had the whole, <clears throat> how many animals could you beat in a fight? How many geese could you beat in a fight? How many wolves could you beat yep. in a fight? Iconic game. Sophie and I were out to... <laughs> Sophie and I were out over dinner the other night. And then... <laughs> can, wait, can I just tell, If no one heard, Sophie just went, No! <laughs> yeah. As Peter started this story. So... <laughs> now I'm way more uh, interested. I'm very invested. <laughs> and then we saw a group of teenagers there at this, at this like... It was like a burger place. Just How many a, teenagers we could beat in a fight? Well, we're getting there. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to guess right. And Why Sophie was like... They look, those, those girls, they look kind of like scary. Girls. God, Peter, this just gets worse. <laughs> Sex, hey, something sexist, guys, doesn't matter. How many teenage no, girls? No, no, could no. You pummel into the concrete. There's a moral. I don't think it's sexist to say finish. I wouldn't bash a group of that teenage so girls. Sexist of you. Would you bash you a group of teenage boys? You bash them down. No, I wouldn't bash a group of any. Well, that oh. doesn't matter. We wouldn't bash a group of geese, would we? You know, it's the same oh, thing. It's I would bash some geese. I would literally eat chickens. <laughs> Anyways, sorry. Let's let's get to the end of this. Yeah, can you let me finish so I don't yep. cancel myself? <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I love cutting it off every time. Peter says something a bit more, a bit more yeah, sus. I'm, I'm building towards, the, towards. So so it was like those girls look kind of scary. Like you're like the bitchy group or something from like a school group. And I was like, Mean Girls. Why mm-hmm. could you be scared of these people when I could take like five of them in a fight? So it kind of got me thinking. How, how many of different like age groups? Could you take it a fight? Oh, so we'll start with one. So we'll start Shall with we? it. infinite one. Let's honest. start with. Uh, oh, we started with it. They looked about fourteen. How many fourteen-year-olds do you reckon you could beat in a cage fight? Is this just the average fourteen-year-old? Because Mike Tyson at fourteen, yes. would have eaten me. There's alive. no Mike Tyson's. Okay, okay. I think at most two. <laughs> yeah, two. Like yeah, that's still. Imagine one of them just like. Wraps their arms around your legs and like yeah they're a little teenager but you're like what the fuck yeah I'm trying they to get them off have I talked about this it's so funny watching like there's like a Emmett like not UFC but a different organization and they just set up like ridiculous fights like a jujitsu guy versus like a sumo wrestler yeah I think and you have talked about that. yeah and it's like the three v one. And the guy, like the guy who's won, is like way better at fighting, but he just gets absolutely destroyed yeah. in about thirty seconds. It's the funniest video because it's like the three people just run at him. One person ends up grabbing a part of him, and then the other two start grabbing him, and then there's just one person there punching. But these people are prepped <laughs> for a fight. Like they are trying to take down this one individual. Oh, so we're taking the surprise. teenagers by surprise? No, no, not by surprise. I'm saying are we getting like <laughs> they, they, they have no strategy. Yeah, they like, have no prep time. They got no prep time. You just spawn into a cage with them. No, I still think two. Right? I, yeah, I think it's like teenagers are pretty big. I think they're too big. 14 year olds. Yeah. Nah, I, I'll go three then. If it's no prep. I, I'm thinking three. Three. I'm th- <laughs> Actually, nah, I just thought of. So the first move I thought of to attack multiple people was. <laughs> this might show how bad of a fighter I am. Maybe I'm down to one. Uh, I thought in my head. I would run forward with my arms out to the side like a plane and try and like <laughs> close line <laughs> not like because I'm probably twice as heavy as your average fourteen yeah, that's year the, old. That's the benefit you got to try and yeah. one tap some of them. So yeah, I just run at them with like the most surface area and just try to bowl them over. Yeah, you just charge strike. Them. <laughs> yeah, right. I I don't know. But I don't. I think that would go horribly. And so forget, I might go one. Don't forget the fear factor. I think they'd Dude, be yeah. really scared of you also, because you could just like oh, yeah, I got hold your arms out and be like, yeah, 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 like an ogre. Like you just got to start like distraction <laughs> tactics. Five, four, five, four, five, <laughs> and then like, punching. what are they gonna do if you're doing the arm swing and Lisa Simpson right, yeah, move? Yeah, no, I'm arms out to the side like a Tasmanian devil from Looney Tunes, and I'm oh, just yeah. going. <laughs> yeah, I reckon that could work. I'd say two, maybe three, if I'm lucky. There's no way more than three, though. All right, good, good. So, yeah. what do you reckon? I think three. Three. I think two. <laughs> It'd be so funny if so just like, I could take 20. <laughs> just no, I think when three you get- Three soda, not three. No, I think of adrenaline and like blood thirst. But they also got that. Blood so thirst. They're scared of well, the children. That's like, you know, when you're scared <laughs> to die. You <laughs> think of the blood yeah, but they thirst have the we have for the thing, So it kind of cancels out, you know? Mm, yeah, but- All right, what's your, what's your signature move? Mine's the, the arms out spin, the tornado, the I'm calling spin. it. I'll just start kicking and running away. <laughs> I don't know. So like Lisa Simpson, they're like, yeah, I'm going to yeah, keep doing yeah. this. If you, you get gotta, in the way, it's yeah. your own fault. You just got to hope that you like land a good punch or kick on one. And yeah. then you can, you can easily win the 1v1. Uh, yeah, then spiral on from there, you know? Yeah. I reckon the flying knee's got to be a, like a real one yes. tapper. Oh, especially because they're shorter as well. <laughs> That's smart. <laughs> 
I think Fucking like falcon knee. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, flip the flip the script. What? Are, how many hundred year olds could she? <laughs> yeah, is this? This doesn't seem like a great topic to talk 100 about. Hundred year olds. Just take a guess. Uh, we don't have to talk 100. about it. Yeah, hundred, hundred. They're so easy to knock down. Like you just, you just, nah, the, okay. you just kick their knees. No, have you seen like zombie TV shows though? Yes. And then you see like a hundred zombies. They're a fucking pack, it and there's depend. nothing you can do. They just, if they just weigh room, you down, oh, yeah. and they start. Well, they, I guess they couldn't rip your flesh off, but they're like gumming you, and it's really <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> If we're in this room, it drastically reduces. Like in a field, <laughs> in a field, there's. Do they have time? I think to- we have a coliseum. Okay, let's think Ooh. of it like that. We're in the Roman coliseum. Yeah. Your favorite movie, Gladiator. Yes. Oh, I hate Gladiator. Uh, Do they 75. get time to swap their dentures out for like fangs? No. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> no. You just keep kicking their knees. <laughs> okay, this is so bad. I think it. I don't know what the limit is. I think there's quite high as well because imagine if they have high. a stick, then you and some now of them get are weapons. already dead. Most people don't live to a hundred. <laughs> 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 they're, they're, they're dead already. <laughs> Jordan goes to the cemetery. He's like, "Oh yeah, have some of these bitches, <laughs> guys." I, I beat a thousand people in a fight last night. He's just jumping on graves. That's so funny. That's the thing because jujitsu. Like, I'm pretty good at like. Well, I'm not pretty good, but I'm good at jujitsu now. But it's kind of only good for a one v one. It's significantly worse at like a multi-battle. Because oh, you're holding someone in your choke for 30 seconds and their friend's just wailing on exactly, your head. Exactly, yeah. yeah. It's not great, is it? All right, well, that was my segment. You got, you guys got any suggestions? Well, we didn't do babies yet. <laughs> <laughs> babies. No, I think I'm What's tougher, 100 year olds or babies? 100 year olds, easily. There's yeah. more mass. That's and true. think about yeah, war yeah, veterans. Yeah. They have knowledge. They do have knowledge. Babies have got no knowledge. Babies got but a lot no of enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> I love annoying. See how much enthusiasm they have in the rear naked choke off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a jujitsu move. Okay. I don't know why the naked come. Why do they call it that? You, you tell me. You're the one that does it to people. You're yeah, the I one that's know. naked. <laughs> yeah, you always have no to one else naked. is. Jordan. <laughs> Imagine like you're like, you're, you're going to like, okay, I'm going to go for this. So just, can you just take off your pants? It's, <laughs> I, I, it's just really the You got to do I'm it. Sorry. It's just what it's called. It's I'm like sorry. the, um, the rest of the people will do it with clothes and Jordan's the only one that calls it the rear naked joke. <laughs> <laughs> he just quickly, he has like tear away pants every time he goes to jujitsu and he really quickly gets behind him, rips his pants Yeah, off. I have no idea why it's called that. But yeah, yeah, jujitsu kind of sucks for a multi-person fight. Yeah, I don't think there's a lot of chance for any of those, is there? No, not really. You could guillotine people, which is when like, you yeah, they're facing you and you choke them. No, that could kind of work. And you like run backwards and use them as a oh, shield. Oh, use them as a shield. That's good. That That's could good. work. But other than that, nah, not really. All right. Well, mm. if we'd like to move on, I've got something. All Ooh. right, go for it. Um, as we are approaching the end of the year, has anyone been starting to think about New Year's resolutions? I know it's a bit early, but maybe theorizing what you'd like to change in your life, picked up any new habits, things you want to continue. Mm. I'm more in the fashion of dropping my good habits at the moment. Oh no! <laughs> nah, 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 nah. It's just <laughs> someone in the uh, in our Patreon chat, patreoncom slash pod If you want to watch live, by the way. But someone was asking about the cold shower streak. Zero today. Big flop. How is long it? has it been zero for? Um, few days. Oh, that's I'd, pretty good. Mine's been a few I months. So don't worry about the, it. I stopped using the app that like wakes me up at the same time each day, and it has turned me to shambles. In, in terms of morning routine, at least. No, just in terms of... <laughs> <laughs> the whole day's fucked up, man. I wake up and I can't be bothered doing anything. My life sucks. No. Why'd, you, why'd you stop using the app? You just turn it off one day? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so I've turned it back on. Uh, so hopefully it gets better. So did I woke it, up like on time today. Yeah, did it get a bit draining or something? Um, no, I just... I had to turn it off for some reason. Nah. And then I didn't turn it back on. But it's like now that I've had so, a few good mornings... Now I just notice the difference more. Mm. Oh, I can never go back right, to right, not right. having like a good morning routine because I did it for like two weeks and I was like, mm. this is amazing. Yeah. And then now like the this past week I've had like... And then do you reckon it compounds because you like with feel it. bad? You'll probably. And then it's like, it's even worse. Yeah, and then like I keep feeling bad. And then I do this podcast and my friends just bringing up how bad it feels as well. And just no, kind of, that's the thing. It's like, it all starts piling up. I feel like people do this thing where they get like almost worse when they realize that they're not doing something right. Yeah, like a relapse. No, no, no. Oh. no. Or not even a relapse. Like, let's say, I don't know. Like, you're sh- yeah, you wake up at like 10 a.m. usually, but you just never knew that was bad and you still like went about your day. 
And then you're like, hang on, this is bad. And then you still wake up at 10 a.m. And then you're like, shit, now I woke up at 10 a.m. Oh, yeah. And then like compounds. Does that make sense? I think you just mean like you realise that your <laughs> life's fallen off and then you're like, well, it's already started here, so... Uh, uh, no, so my resolution... <laughs> you feel bad about it. Uh, my resolution is just to get back into that habit, nice. the good morning routine. It's because I did this um, sleep video too, which will be coming around out in a little bit. Where Are I you tried still cooking to, that one up? Uh, like I've finished filming it. Oh, it's, nice. it's cooking. It's in the Ooh. oven now. So we just got to wait for it to be done. Okay. I didn't know if that one was like turning into like a way too big a task to like really make into a video. Nah, so it's getting cooked and I wasn't going to, oh yeah. So just getting back into like good sleep habits. Yeah. Mine might be like, I feel like this year was a lot of like learning or like getting the beginning of good new habits or like, and like fitness stuff. And I feel like next year is going to be like the execution, Compiling. the continuous execution. Of yeah, those. like to keep the consistency going. Like yeah. now that you know it. Yeah. What's the game plan? The game plan: work out, do some jujitsu, do some more, do some what YouTube. What about uh, kind of the same? Is that a smart goal? Yeah. Oh, it's not. How, it's how, not measurable. How much are you working out? Some when? three times a week. Yeah, I was gonna nice. say, are you gonna schedule this? Yeah, I have a schedule. Nice. So follow that schedule. Is I guess the smart goal. Thou yeah, shalt have, have a schedule. Yeah. Now I feel like my schedule is like good and maintainable as well. It's the funnest of schedules, by it's the, the way. It's the funnest of schedules. <laughs> I is always it? used to like overshoot. I don't know if you guys have done this when you make schedules. Oh, every time. Zach yeah, overshoots with them. all of his goals. <laughs> no, that, it's yeah. it's his, his biggest L. I under would do the, the same schedules. thing because it'd yeah. be like, oh, I'm like so made it motivated this week to like do all this. And then it's like you're two weeks in, you're like, hmm, I've got no time to like enjoy it. Yeah, no. I do the yeah. same thing. I'm like you, Zach. I'm like, shoot way too high, super unachievable, give up by week two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same, but I feel like now I've like I've got it down for a while now and I'm like, like this is good. But like the theory is like shoot for the moon and then no. you might end up on, on the, the clouds in the, the clouds. Stars. The bigger they are, the bigger but, they fall. But I think how it That's ends up is like line, by the way. shoot for the moon, then realize the moon's really far away and give up. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's kind of what it ends up being. Hey. So yeah, true. It's, it's like, has anyone ever shot the moon? No, bullets no. don't go that far. <laughs> Whoa, so smart. Well, well, you don't yeah. want to hit the man on the moon. Yeah, that would be really mean. Oh, the dream. Do you have, do you have any years resolutions, Ovi? Yeah, and this one's gonna be wild, Peter, for you. <laughs> I think <laughs> I want to be single. <laughs> <laughs> I want to start drinking coffee. Like, <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. Oh, it's good for you. Yeah, I have been listening to Peter a little bit more about how good it is for you and how it's good for you long term as well. Is it really? Yeah, I listened yeah. to a whole ass podcast about it and I was like, damn. Who is it by? Uh, it was, it's Sounds this thing called Science Versus and it's where they literally do their thing and at the end they're like, this one had 117 citations. So I tend to believe what they're talking oh, about. Yeah. Because they like proper on the person. Can wow. you give us a quick recap so people don't click off our podcast? You don't need to listen to theirs. Peter yeah, will give yeah, you yeah. the recap uh, yeah. right yeah. now. They said caffeine, it's not bad for you. It doesn't make you have heart attacks. It's something in uh, energy drinks that is the combination between caffeine and maybe something else. Taurine. That makes you... Well, they, it, they think they tried that and they tested all the different uh, chemicals by themselves. And none of that made people's hearts go fucked, but the energy drink, something about the cocktail of it is what makes people mm. occasionally ask, die. Did they test soft drink caffeine as well? Yeah. Okay. Well, for and me it does. Anyway, point was, was that they said that people who had two to three cups of coffee lived the longest in the in the study. A day. Yeah. Or yeah. Two, to three, two to three shots of espresso. So like this oh, one okay. is two. So like a large. Yeah, like yeah. a large, it could be yeah. three. And, and they don't know exactly why, but it might be because people who have coffee do more steps in a day. And just having a more active more lifestyle energy. makes you live a lot longer. Wow. A thousand more steps a day for people who had caffeine versus on the days they didn't. Whoa. It's quite a lot. Is this a study with people who like had caffeine though and then went off it? Uh, so they had people and they, I don't know if they were already coffee drinkers or not. Yeah. Like they may have been, but on any given day, they yeah. either said have coffee today or don't have a coffee See, today. See, that's the issue I feel like with a lot of caffeine studies is it's really hard to do a study on people who aren't already You don't have having, a blank canvas. Yeah. That's a lot of the issue with the caffeine stuff. Well, let's yeah, study Sophie's experiences then. Yeah, because I'm a blank canvas. Like, I don't drink coffee. And 
Well, okay, that's a lie. Like I've just started really over the last six months where I have been having about half a shot on the days where I start work at 6 a.m., work till 12, and then I know, say we're going out that night to drinks or like someone's party or a dinner or something. I'm like, well, I'm going to get like real tired by 5 p.m., so I'm going to have half a shot of coffee, might have. Now I've kind of upgraded to half having- Half a whole shot. One shot, but I have it across two mockers. So you're I feel like, like it's usually relative anyway, right? So I feel yeah. like keep it as low as possible. Well, I also drink tea as well. So yeah. I'm not, not drinking caffeine like at all. And I also drink Coke, like the soft drink. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. But yeah, I think they did find that it's not actually bad for you, caffeine. I think it depends on the person because, yeah, I, it raises my, what's it called? Blood pressure? What's the thing oh, where right? you put the thing on? And it's oh, like, oh, yeah, yeah. That is blood pressure. Blood, yeah. It raises my blood pressure a lot. Yeah, I mean, if you have a bad reaction to it, then yeah, obviously do whatever's right for your body. So I have it very occasionally, and it seems to keep it down, such as today. I was some up they also late. said in this thing that some people are like, there. There's a gene where you're either fast at processing caffeine or slow at processing it. So Ooh. some people like they can have a coffee at like eight, and then it's like out of their system by bedtime at like ten. And some people just can't, you know. Mm. So it, it is. It does depend on the person. Yeah, I'm not That's a fan of coffee, but maybe this will change me. That's what I am. I'm not a fan of it, but I'm. I want to give it a try. And what I'm going to do is, I don't really want to have it past two p.m. in the day. Smart. So, have you been feeling tired, or what has brought upon this change? Uh, it being December, it being social season, party season, mm. and I still work 6 a.m. to 12 in the morning and then yeah. expected to go out and enjoy the night with everyone until like at least 11. Yeah. So I want to keep, you know. Are you a napper? Are you big on naps? <sighs> not really. Yeah, but I'm not a napper at all. Yeah. I fucking hate napping. But I, I do. Know. I was <laughs> napping. <laughs> okay. I, don't, I, I can't nap, but I don't fucking hate it. Well, no, but I can't nap because I hate <laughs> it. Oh, like, yeah, I'm okay. sure you can do it. Yeah, no, I learned no. the best way to do it. But I just wake it. up feeling like an alien. I actually can't. Oh, really? When I was away for like a work trip back in the day when I would like go around doing uh, trips and that, I worked for half a day. Then I was like going to drive somewhere in the afternoon. So I tried to nap middle of the day and I lay in bed for maybe two hours and I just couldn't. Tried everything. Mm, dude, I'm, I'm the same dude. I, I'm tired when it's sleep time. I'm not tired when it's daytime. Yeah. We're That's not, not when humans animals. sleep. Exactly. Humans sleep at night. I think we're, we're diurnal. Because I, I can nap. I think I can do it. And I think it's good if it's in the middle of like your sleep lull in the day. You know, and they say after lunch is when you hit that. that low. That's when I hit that low. Yeah. And that's like if that's. Shorty. That's. <laughs> low, low, low. <laughs> John's, yeah, John's a freaking <laughs> napaholic. Yeah, anyway. John hits that low. I used to be the worst napaholic. Now it's kind of good. Yeah, dude. It was. It used to be bad. You, you know used to what? just I, sleep your whole life just, away. Yeah, I would just sleep more than I was awake, I think. And then I'd get confused what was real and fake because I'd have dreams in the middle of the what? day that were kind of real. And I'd be like, did I see my friend or. It sounds like you literally weren't living this part of your life. Yeah. Pretty much, but it was fun though. I just. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just Lived play, in my brain. play XCOM, listen to the Rooster Teeth podcast, have a sleep, <laughs> play some Smash Bros. No uh, wonder I got so good at Smash Bros. Say, what I, else was I doing? Are these meant to be the best years of your life? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got good at Smash. <laughs> you know what the hack is? Do Yoga Nidra. Yeah, I've, I've heard that's what where you it's, like it's close like, your eyes. Yeah, like, it's just basically lying there and like focused meditating. Yeah. But like you don't fall asleep, but you just like oh meditation. Yeah. Is if you hit so a good, good one, I haven't tried this, but just like a different meditation. Sometimes I like wake up and it feels like I've been like sleeping for an hour. I love but it. Just like close yeah. my eyes for like ten minutes because I can do that. But then that's also meant to like puts some people to sleep. But since I can't nap, I just Smart. do that yeah, and I, I get like, that. like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd be fucking out. It's like it's like fully relaxing, but then you don't sleep. Uh, yeah, I'll do so it very occasionally for like 10 minutes and then it, it's pretty refreshing. Uh, so, nice. can you convince Zach to get into yoga? Oh, oh we have been. Me and Maddie, we've been, oh, we've been yoguring Ooh, it up. Let's go. Oh, tell me about it, please. Uh, so Did you start doing part, the easy ones? Did you start Sometimes doing easy do ones? Yeah. yeah. How much better is easy ones than yeah, hard ones? Yeah, that's what's gotten me into it as well. Yeah. Yeah. You're in it as well? Yeah, I always would do a bit off and on, but I was always like doing the shit that was like too hard. And then yeah. I would just like not find it fun. This is exactly what I was saying. Yeah. Yeah. My hamstrings are like four centimeters long. They are just <laughs> so fucking tight. Same. Like, so basically all I'm doing at the moment is like a lot of like 
stretching like tight areas of the body mm. and just like staying in things because like i can't do any sort of shit like downward even like downward dog and that like it's fucking hard well, the thing is is like the problem with the hard ones is that they use the positions that we still find difficult yeah as rest yeah. And so yeah. you never get a break. It's like, and now Your return. Your legs are shaking. Return and- to downward dog and relax. And it's I'm like, like te- I te- fucking can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, nice try, but no. Yeah, I do one that like is mostly like really chill stretches or like positions. And then it goes into the hard ones briefly. And then it goes to the yeah, like, yeah. nice ones. Yeah. yeah. That's probably what the hard ones feel like to people who are good at them yeah but we're not so it's not fun you know May I so. ask, do you do them in a class at home video uh you- at home i found this one youtuber Which that is- i like yoga with d dog oh. d dog okay i've done yoga she with only Bird. gets like 300 views on each of her videos but it was randomly recommended to me once it was like yoga for like lower back yeah, focus this is d dog's biggest shout out of all time <laughs> 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 and I did it, and it was like so much better than other ones that I've yeah. seen. So I, now I just find ones from her. I would recommend yoga with Adrian. She's like huge. Adrian. Everyone, everyone in the yoga YouTube world would know. I like supporting small creators like okay. D Dog. Actually, <laughs> yeah, actually, <laughs> support your just, local. I feel like YouTube Adrian's <laughs> got enough money. <laughs> okay, she doesn't need the, sh- the shout out, but just saying, there's a lot of stuff for beginner that like Peter and I have done together to do yeah. some beginner stuff, and it's been really good. Uh, I'll check it out. Another yeah. New Year's plan. What if we had a crossover Make with money. D-Dog and Undy-Dog? Oh. That would be sick. Undy-Dog's yoga. Dude. Sorry, what if we just, I don't know what I'm fucking <laughs> What if we just do much. yoga with underdogs? <laughs> we did. That was no, no, cursed. No, but like we do the routines for other people to follow. But we're bad. <laughs> but we're not good at it. Such Transition into idea. underfacing dog. We just change the names. <laughs> yeah, that should be our niche, I reckon. We're really good at this yoga It's all thing. the same things, but we just change the names. Tree falcon pose. Uh, no, Captain Tree pose. Captain Tree pose. <laughs> so, Jordan, what were you saying? Make money. Yeah, D- yeah. DD D- downward dog. Have you got any plans for that? Yeah, just try and make some more money. Yeah, how are you going to do that? I don't know. Oh, is that your New Year's <laughs> resolution? <laughs> figure that out. That could be my Hopefully resolution. Hopefully Smash 6 comes out, <laughs> then we can make some money. That could be my resolution. Figure that out. No, I'm like, yeah, might as well. Might as well make some money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? Because, like, let's say, like, jujitsu, right? I put a lot of effort currently into, like, jujitsu. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what if I just do that for making money? <laughs> and then I make some money. Okay. What about well, you? Why don't you just yeah. get you, you go to a jujitsu class? Did, get, are you going to go to a money making class? Yeah, I might buy a book. Well, if he <laughs> if he invested all that time into like Jordan, learning the these, stock market, money. Or, or even like being a better YouTuber or something. <laughs> so that's my plan. We'll see how it goes. Cool, dude. We'll catch up next year and see if it works. <laughs> this is not a smart goal. All right, Peter, we haven't. We <laughs> haven't how do we make this a smart goal? Smart goal. Smart goal. No, no, smart goal. Smart goal. Smart goal. Smart goal. What's S? What's S? Uh, specific. specific. So it's not Make specific in the slightest. More money than <laughs> no, 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 like, no. How? How? How much no, more no, no. per make, year? Okay, make All double months. as much. That double is as much. so hard. Okay, M? measurable is so that's oh, that's the amount. Two and one. So <laughs> achievable. You can't just say I want to get double the money I'm making. And I s- think it's achievable. R. <laughs> okay. Uh, What's R? Is R realistic? I think you might be fucked. How's that achievable and realistic? I know. I, I, we always forget R, and I I uh, keep fucking it up. Relative. Yes. Yeah, it's relative. I no. need more money. Okay, let's I think it's relative. And then T is time specific. And you said next year. Next year. So, that so it's a smart goal. It's, it's and we're not ready. specific. It's specific. You're saying it's specific, but it's not. <laughs> Fine. The specifics are, I'll Yo, learn can we- how to make more money and then I'll make more. <laughs> how are you going to learn to make more money? <laughs> Read a book. What book? <laughs> I'll look it up. Okay. Fine. Realistic. <laughs> look up a book. R stands relevant. for relevant. relevant. Yeah, it's relevant. It's relevant. We it's need relevant. money. Yeah, yeah, that, that one yeah, checked yeah. out. I yeah. think I think you're really missing out on the specific part here. We'll see how it goes. Because like, I'm at the point now where it's like, I feel like my first goal was like mental health. But now I'm pretty good. <laughs> and then I achieved enlightenment. Yeah. <laughs> now well, I want to get rich. I feel pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> like I just the Dalai Lama coming out and saying that. He's like, I don't know why they don't do that. It's guys, so I worked it out. Now do you want to buy my new fucking I, book? I, I, yeah, I always find that bullshit, you know, like monks and stuff. Why are they oh, no. so boring? Like, no. I feel like if you're a monk, like just absolutely send it. What does that mean, send it? Like, just become, like, the best UFC fighter ever because you're a <laughs> monk and you can do anything. 
If you could do anything, yeah, why would you just sit there? Do you reckon monks are frauds? No a way. A lot of them. A lot of them are. My guess would be a high percentage of frauds, but I reckon there's, there's not. They're not I reckon they don't do shit. No, I reckon there's a bunch of frauds because a lot of people like go away because it's kind of like a version of rehab. Is like what it would I've depend heard. on the yeah, depend on the place. Yeah, people whose lives are hell fucked, you know, become monks. Yes. It's like a, that's like, like a, a hack. Yeah. yeah, it's like a that's I like that a... Dr. K guy I listened to, like healthy gamer. He went to become a monk for like seven years. Yeah, but then like at his place, it must have been a good place. They were like, okay, you can become a monk. Just go and get like become a doctor and really rich, and then come back and be a monk. Because at the moment, you're just like some twenty year old who sucks at life and just wants to escape. Yeah. So like before you become a monk, you got to get like. He was have like, some stuff to give up, you know? He was like, come back when oh, you're wow. ready to retire. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so he did that. And then he was like, oh, why do people eat pigs for breakfast? What? Sorry, I just went to... Can we play the sound bite? <laughs> no, 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 change the topic. <laughs> it's the puppet <laughs> one question <laughs> of the week. But yeah, why do pe- people always eating pigs for breakfast? Because they're tasty. Wait, what why, do you mean? Why, where did this thought come so from? Can we... Because I was going to have... Well, do you mean bacon? Yeah. Okay. Or... People have ham? Um, I don't know. Yeah. Not yeah, ham really cheese for, croissant. For ham breakfast. I actually yeah, have you, ham almost every day, so. Well, but for lunch, not necessarily for breakfast. No, Because I don't really eat pigs and cows because I feel a bit bad. Really? Yeah. So I mainly eat chicken and fish. What do chickens do to you? They're just dumb. <laughs> like, if I had to choose, like, I would definitely kill a chicken and it's kill a actually cow. A fair it's point. a hard one, is it, for meat eaters? There's not really a win. Like, I looked into this quite a while ago, and then I was like, oh, like, if you eat chicken... It's like more, you're killing more chickens. But then if That's you true. eat like pork, then like pigs are smarter. Don't even so, get me started on the prawns and shit. Bro. And then it's like, if you eat, you're like, okay, I'll eat the biggest one. That means we're killing the least amount of whales. cows. Oh, cows. <laughs> okay, cows. Yeah, yeah, people are all pissed about people eating whales, but it's one day. You kill one whale one meal. <laughs> but, then, but then beef farming is by far the worst for the environment out of them all. So there's just no winning. I just want them to get to G- well, I mean, GMO meat, I think, then. Like, oh, where I they, ate kangaroos. Where Sorry, they grow the winning meat. would be being vegetarian, I, I suppose. But Oh, I, yes. That is not really yeah, for I me. Yeah, I mainly Apologies. eat chicken and fish because I, I reckon they're pretty dumb. And then kangaroos because they like can't farm them. That's how I get my red meat. But anyways, yeah, so I go to, fair take. I go to have a... How, many can, how much kangaroo do you eat? I don't know, once a week or something. Is it a good lean protein source? Yes, yeah, it's, it's like very lean. lean. It's what? Yeah. We eat it. I like might get into kangaroo. Kangaroo's sure. the best. It used I don't to think be I've cheaper as well. Had it. Really? Yeah. Ollie has it every day. Like if we ever so have like mints, like you, you know how people eat beef mints, we'll have kangaroo mints. Yeah, we have yeah. all our spaghetti bolognese is uh, so, kangaroo. So yummy. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I'm saying. We eat it like at least three times a week. <laughs> Didn't realise. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so I'm like trying to not eat pigs and then I'm like, Go on the. I was a bit late today because I had a late night, and then <laughs> so like party hard, bro. Okay. <laughs> hey, <laughs> and then uh, so I was like, I'll go to McDonald's on the way here. Everything's got a bit of bacon, doesn't it? Uh, sausage egg McMuffin. Yeah, or brekkie wrap. It's all just bacon. No, as in the sausage egg McMuffin doesn't oh, well have bacon. Oh, that's got cows though. <laughs> yeah, 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 and also. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. What? Why does that? Why did that start? Hot cakes. Pigs. They don't have bacon. Pigs. Breakfast pigs. What's that I about? I don't know. I think bacon is just a good breakfast food for some reason. Yeah, That's everyone is so... It just why. became... <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. Why thing. do we have anything at any time of the day? It's just this culture. This is something I was thinking of recently. And it's because Christmas is coming up. Like, have I, t- have I mentioned this on the podcast last week? Or have I just been ranting about it to everyone in person? Well, at least Wait, I haven't it? heard I don't it. know what you're talking oh, about. Yeah. Yeah. It's you? basically about how, like, we decided on these, these few things that are good for Christmas, like gingerbread and eggnog and all that. And that happens every year. Oh, you did talk about oh, this yeah, on the yeah. Yeah. yeah, It's bullshit. Dude, welcome. It's, that's just culture. <laughs> Tradition. I know. I, it's fucking with my head how we just, like, <laughs> we, keep doing the same stuff for no reason. Yeah, Like, why everything. do we have bacon and eggs in the morning? Why are you wearing a t-shirt? Why Put do we have cereal and useless food in the morning? Yeah. If someone yeah. said, I'm having cereal for dinner you'd be like what the fuck is wrong with you but it's just a different time of day no, it's do, and it's one of the easiest meals to make so why wouldn't Should you do it at the end of the day when yeah, you're like I exhausted I want eggs meal. for dinner <laughs> I had yeah. my cereal was no. my final meal yesterday yeah you know what I did oh, like when it, one this is very nice when we live at home and mum's cooked dinner and then I've got home from going out to a party been like you know what I've got work tomorrow at 6am I'm gonna go to sleep I'm just gonna have a very small like wheat bix whatever for dinner then at 5 a.m. when I wake up for breakfast, Hell yeah. eat the dinner. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's living. It's already made. That's just gonna, it's a great meal. It's, you know, it's it's not just yeah, a, I, a wheat bix. I have a similar thing, but I 
do meal prep, but like I have like some meals ready. Maybe I should just eat them for breakfast. Yeah, fuck it. Because I I'll usually cook myself an omelet in the mornings, uh, which is good, mm. but it it takes time, you mm. know. And it's also probably not as filling as what I'll eat for dinner. Yeah, they say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Yet everyone's eating Fruit Loops like a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you guys do anything like outside of the the, the cultural norm, norm? The cultural norm, like in terms of meals or just stuff in anything, general? Anything, oh, anything. loads of stuff. I have a lot of sandwiches for dinner. It's about as <laughs> oh wow, as about as wild as That's I get. Wild. That's, pretty, <laughs> That's wild. pretty crazy, man. <laughs> what about what about uh, you guys? I have showers at random times sometimes. Yeah, you do. Oh, just like in the middle of the day. I just like might feel a bit sweaty or gross, and it's just like, well, why the fuck not now? Yeah, it's definitely the benefit of like being at home a lot. Like yeah, not working, like it's working like, at home. Why do I have to do this morning or night specifically? Usually Mid-day. it's because it's like the transition from clothes to like pajamas. Yeah, but sometimes I'll yeah. do that at like 1 p.m. because I'm just at home anyway, working from home. Like, nah, me too. Yeah, I've I been do to that. the gym and then I get home and then I'll like have a shower, chuck on a, a, my pajamas and a dressing gown and then do that at like 1 p.m. Fuck it. But what if then you need to like go out in the afternoon? I could just, so something I'd that like literally chuck trackies over the top and then just go out and then come back. What else do we do that's just not culturally? You do, you tell me I do whack things all the time. So I don't know. Yeah. I suppose if we do it, we probably don't realize it's culturally <laughs> whack. Yeah, we? true. Mm. What's something that we can mm. all start doing to just challenge the, maybe it is breakfast. Having beers for breakfast. Oh, here's one. What's wrong with having a soft drink in the morning versus at night? Because if you have a soft drink at like 9 a.m., people look at you like Dude. you're, you've killed someone. Dude, it's true. Oh, yeah. Who smarter. fucking cares? Yeah, I never have them, but also, you're better off having them earlier because it's got caffeine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You guys know that I've been looking for like a replacement breakfast drink to coffee on oh the God, days that I feel like something... This is a terrible idea. I don't know if Coke Zero is the answer. <laughs> something more refreshing. Coca-Cola no, but like, in the morning. you know how I made, I made the shake and wake? It's like orange juice with caffeine. Yeah. It's because sometimes I don't feel like a coffee. I don't feel like the milky, like the like coffee taste. Sometimes I feel like a light refreshing, like a juice, but I want the caffeine still. It's a great idea. Enter like Fanta or something. <laughs> no, no. A break- no, it's just cultural. What's wrong with a breakfast Fanta? Yeah, no, stop just, shitting just all just over me, George. Fanta at all. Yeah, but if he's having, it, if you're having it anyway, no, but if like, you're having it anyway, yeah. Yeah, I do drink a decent amount of soft drink oh, anyway. Okay, okay. So. You said orange juice and caffeine pills was the idea for Shark Tank. Yeah. Right? That's just, smart. Just a... Uh, Go get your ADHD. <laughs> like, go get help. And then, <laughs> yeah, basically, basically did do say that. simply see a psychiatrist instead. <laughs> oh, oh, going to the toilet as a dude and sitting down. I always do that. Not gonna lie. Oh, yeah, Anyone I do else? that. No, nah. yeah, you should do it. Fucking get some testosterone, you pussies. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> no real argument. I think no I, actual reason. <laughs> but then I think you'd be surprised how many peas turn into poos, Peter, if you just started sitting down. Okay, That's here's a good point. You've been you've been holding that. them in because you're like standing up and you're like, well, you're you're in the mindset of like, I don't need to poo, so I'm gonna stand up and piss. Okay, but I think you'd find that if you sat there. A little poo might creep out. Dude, I'm, I feel a poo <laughs> forming as you talk about this. You're what? What? <laughs> what did you say? I feel a poo forming as you're talking I about I have a this. legitimate reason. You said falling. Falling. No, no, no. no. <laughs> the couch is fine. <laughs> So yes, you said sit on the toilet backwards underwear. to get a table on the tank. <laughs> and, and then you have a little tray to for your breakfast. And, and your, <laughs> for your breakfast. So, <laughs> okay. For your dinner that's okay. now breakfast. Wait, wait, wait. I've got a question. Have you ever sat on the toilet backwards? Never. Yeah. How did, how did you find it? Had to it? piss with a boner once. And you boys know that how that is. Backwards? How well, I had no other anything? option. I was in a hurry. So no, but how does that change lean it? lean forwards. It's Stand better, up. Better angle. Why are you so dedicated to sitting? <laughs> better angle. <laughs> Sophie asked a question and I answered honestly. And I will not get any pushback on that, please. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> because I've also tried. I think I was, you know, maybe like 14 or something. Just be like... Yeah. Why are we sitting on the toilet this way? Just try it the other way. Yeah, your whole way. Go. Just yeah, well, try one of the two ways of sitting on a toilet. <laughs> it's true. Actually, try three ways. Time. Yeah, try sideways, Zach. Live a little. Well, three <laughs> if three if you gargoyle. Oh, well, that's true. Like, uh, you <laughs> is that really counted as sitting? It's uh, more standing. Anyway, uh, I don't pee sitting down because I maybe I just have powerful piss, but 
Do you guys not find that when you piss hard forwards, it can like bounce off the no. ball and bounce back? I've never had that. You get a bit of splashback from your powerful you got some piss. Power. <laughs> Holy shit! Just me. Yeah, yeah might but- be TMI, but I feel like if you're sitting in pissing deck, there's a chance of a bit of bounce back. I've never had that. I don't Maybe know. Maybe I have a small fireman's- toilet. Fireman's hose. Yeah, you absolutely <laughs> send it out yeah. of there. I, I'm just saying, there's my reasoning. There's a real reason. Right. Peeing sitting down splashes. So, okay, big wow, boy you snail got, gets it. Oh, I always called big boy. He's probably got a big boy. Yeah, he's got a big boy. <laughs> he's fucking. Well, there, toilet paper it. does exist for a reason. I know. I, if I, I, know I can avoid that, wiping piss yeah. off my thighs, I'll do that. Yeah. All right. Wasn't like, this podcast normal like a few <laughs> minutes ago? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I don't know. Just had like a third person. <laughs> like experience of Peter saying like, well, if I'm wiping piss off, it just well, is like the culmination of this whole yeah. conversation. To be a, a sit down pisser. I sit down piss when I poo. I know what it's like. Yeah. And I choose not to do it. Yeah. I can't really comment because I don't have anything down there that's going to be close to touching stuff, you know? Yeah, that's good. Oh. And also I can only really <laughs> sit down and piss. I don't have the option. Peter has the biggest I penis don't- confirmed. I don't um fuck? I don't sit what down in the fuck? in the urinals though. I will say. <laughs> Imagine the big long metal tray urinals, I don't sit <laughs> in them. Do you all sit forwards or backwards on the urinal? No, no, no. <laughs> Who's hitting the wall sit on the urinal? Oh, oh yeah, you get a bit of a uh, core workout. Okay. okay. <laughs> what are we else did I have planned? What are we Nothing. else did we have? Oh, we were gonna talk about Christmas. With yeah. tradition. We might as well segue to that. What is the worst thing about Christmas and what would you replace it with? So if there's one cultural tradition that you think this one is the worst one. Buying nieces presents. <laughs> I'll feel you, that? brother. <laughs> yeah. Holly has a niece now and it's like. I have a niece now Holly too. Like, what do you get him a present? I was like, are you serious? <laughs> 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 what the fuck? Okay, wait, how big is your family? Like, how many family members, including like from your grandparents, oh, like immediate, like cousins? Uh, like both sides of my mum and dad probably have about, uh, like aunties and uncles on each side is probably totals like, once like four pairs, so like eight. They all probably have about three children oh, ish. So, it's big. so that's it's cousins big. wise. It's a lot of nieces. And then if nieces start coming in. When does it end? When does it end? Because we've got it kind of sorted where with siblings, we just do a secret sound. So you're not buying every sibling a present. Yeah. And then with cousins, uh, we do an, another secret sound or like a re-gifting kind of situation. And then that's, so that's all the presents for the family. So you don't have to buy many presents. Well, yeah, the niece can't be in but the then secret Santa because she's not really going to contribute. then a niece comes she? along and then it's like, got to buy the present. It's like, oh, no. It. <laughs> oh, them, them. Um, so huh? you didn't buy that. them a present oh. on their so first Christmas? So what are you going to replace that with? Yeah, what are you going to replace with? <laughs> no present. <laughs> I don't know. A thumbs up. <laughs> Absolute creative mastermind. So which, are. what age is the present start? I just think don't, like, just if you got a kid, buy it a present, and then your sisters and brothers shouldn't buy it a present too. But when I was a kid, I got the most presents I've ever gotten, and it yeah. was awesome. Yeah. You, go, you want to take that away from someone? Yeah. yeah like, like all away. my uncles and aunties got me gifts, and That's I was so like, I gifts. got, like, 12 presents, and now I get, like, four, but I, oh, you know, like, gifts. I'm fine with it. But when you're a kid, you're like, I got one less present than this person. You know that? Well, you literally that Dudley Dursley. <laughs> no, it was <laughs> Dudley. Last year from Harry Potter. Oh, I must have fallen asleep. No, but, is that the no, second but half? first scene. Is that the second it's half? the first scene oh, of the okay. first movie. Oh, okay. Peter, some kid, kids oh, are like that. Now, kids, yeah. kids are like that. If you get worse presents than your brother or sister, oh man. Yeah, but that's how you know you got a spoiled brat and you just got to give yeah. a good boot. Yeah. Yeah. I don't condone violence against children, by the way. <laughs> you give them a boot. <laughs> Despite all my references yeah. this week. Yeah. <laughs> Despite bringing up how many one-year-olds could you defeat. I only <laughs> say this because it's so far out of my realm of what I would actually do for the record. So true. Um, okay, well, Peter, what would you change? Um, I'm, I'm going to turn Christmas pudding into something that doesn't taste like shit. Oh, that's such a good idea. <laughs> I don't think I've had Christmas pudding. Yeah, keep it that way. It's Dollar. shit. Okay, yeah. We'll... It's like, it's a dense, shitty fruit cake, but the fruit is like, I don't know, shit. It's... It's like if you took fruit and made it bad and you took cake and you made it bad and then you put it together <laughs> and you said, have this every year, fucking idiot. And it's like, this so- is what I'm saying. Why is that a yearly thing? Is that because Why can't we have like chocolate pudding is the new Christmas yeah, just have standard? Good. Is that because they invented this like, I don't know, when 
when was Christmas? Yeah, two thousand years ago. It's and so be, they never developed it. it, it but you crazy. believe it developed crazy? You Christmas was invented well. at year zero. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it wasn't. Was it? I don't think it. I it think probably yeah, it They started have been. doing the calendar like yeah, five hundred. No, it it or would not have been because as well. It's also really old. Like more traditional Christmas pudding is like aged. Yeah, and also doused in alcohol. That's why it's often flambéed. It's lit on fire. Whoa. So Whoa. it's old. It's needed preserving with alcohol. It yeah. gets set on fire, and also it's fed to kids like. With alcohol in it, it's such it a cope. Off. It's it's come out of the basement. It's been there for ten years. They're like, it's aged. It's because like, everything up. else is advanced. But you know what? Tra- traditions don't advance. So I'm replacing yeah. it with pavlova because that's what we kind of already Ooh. do in Australia to yeah. some yeah. degree. Because we have pavlova Christmas. on Christmas. And you know so ev- the rest of the world try this one out. You know what's good? Trifle. You yeah, guys had trifle. Yeah, so if he doesn't yummy. like it. I've only really had a lot of bad trifle though. So I shit talked uh, Maddie a little bit when she brought up trifle and she made one. Because the first time you see it, I don't know how well known trifle is, but Looks it's like, like it's like a sponge roll cut into strips, mm. like line the thing. Then you just put in jelly, custard, fruit, and cream. Just it literally looks like you've just taken a whole bunch of desserts, like thrown them in a dish and being like, eh, that'll do. It's some crazy layers. And it's fucking delicious. Like I watched her make it. I was like, this is the most bogan Christmas weird <laughs> shit I've ever seen. And it's amazing. But hi, I think it's, I think what Sophie doesn't like about it is that it's traditionally made out of leftovers and shit. Mm. So like, cause oh. you get cake, which is old yeah. and nobody wants to eat it. And you soak the cake in like stuff to put us the bottom layer. So like you're bringing shit stale cake back to life. Yeah. And then you put these other things on top to make it acceptable. It's like a way of not wasting food. But if it's actually made without shitty leftovers, it's going to be good. But you know actually what I mean? saying mm. that bread and butter pudding, which is made from leftover bread, like frozen bread or your old stale bread, that shit always slaps. It sounds disgusting. It's bread so and good. butter pudding. Bread and butter. It's basically yeah. custard, like Ooh, baked, I love custard. It, and it's like it's good. Yeah, it turns out a lot of food is just made out of leftovers, and we kind of have coped to like it, like you know, like gravy. It's like is that leftovers as well? Dude, it's just like the, the tray Vegemite. leftovers. Yeah, the tray meat juice, and yeah. then you turn it into gravy and like stuff like that. A lot of sauces and stuff are just made out of like cooking juice. That makes sense. Yeah, you know what else? It it kind of goes the other way. Why don't we have Christmas ham all year round. I don't like no, ham. not more ham. <laughs> what? The cooked <laughs> ham is delicious. <laughs> ham is mid. Oh, true. I That's ate turkey. I like turkey. Yeah. Yeah, they're stupid. Kill stupid because- but like hot cross <laughs> buns too. One of the best foods ever made and they're yeah. only at Easter. Why? One of the best foods ever made. Are you, are you mentioned this at least twice on the podcast <laughs> before. Yeah. How much, <laughs> how much you like hot cross buns is not normal. <laughs> I'll back you, Zach. Yeah. The best I'll back ever you. Made. you can just buy a bun. Okay. No. And then pretend it has a cross Obviously on it. Obviously I meant in the category of like bread and baked goods. Oh, okay. Yeah. What yeah. makes a hot cross bun better than just a bun you can buy any other time? Top apart three across. breads. It's real soft it's, it's got spices so it's, bread. it's got like cinnamon spices yeah. and stuff in it's you can have a sugary. hot cross bun with like nothing on it and it tastes good I'm sure you're eating you plain you eating plain bread it's no. like the substitute the closest thing don't worry i've done my research is like fruit toast but it's not as soft oh, and nice as toast. a mm. hot cross bun like i know they can't they start coming up like that's because like, surely they're chocked with like some sugar yeah, or shit they yeah, they're not good for yeah, you yeah yeah we would, we would put them in the freezer from, like, when they start coming and then have them six months after Easter. Whoa. Zach's heaven. <laughs> start loading oh up the freezer. All right, um, what's, what's your least favorite my, thing about Christmas that we're going to replace? My least favorite thing about Christmas is probably Secret Santa. Oh, I can get behind Maybe that. Maybe just for this year. Yeah, what but, are you replacing it with? Um, just <laughs> buying people presents. For, like... Buy the people who you want to get presents for presents and no one else. But I think I'm, I'm a Secret Santa hater too, but now I've only just realized it's to avoid you having to get more than one yes. present for a group. I love that. I hate when it's like um, you don't know who you got it from. Yeah. Because I feel like I was saying this before like to Holly. It was just like, because Holly's family do Secret Santa, right? And then I had like, they, I, I just got gift cards. And then I had the gift card and I was going to use it this year. And I was like, oh, I got this gift card from just someone in your family. I still don't know. It's like That's Christmas weird. is already so much about presents and less about family. And then it just removes that even <laughs> more where it's only about the present. You can't even acknowledge who got it to you. Yeah, true. And it's just like, you just have so you want a signed Santa? Or just like, just say like, I got you this. 
That's yeah, weird. do people think, not do that? Yeah, that's more well, that's common. what Holly's family's like. Yeah, <laughs> you just secretly the presents get given out, and you just get your present, and you're like, "I got it. I don't know who I from." Think, I think Secret Santa is usually like yes. people will open a present, and then at the end, everyone's sort of like, "Ah, oh, like that was me." Yeah, oh, I would they, like they, that. They like, Holly, Holly's family is like in and out with Christmas. It's crazy. You rock up, everyone gets their secret present. No one acknowledges who you got it from. Everyone eats. It's about a two-hour whole or di- like that's it, and then you're out of there. That's you go on. You move on. Sounds good. It is. It's very quick. It's very quick. Sounds good. Now that there's a niece, though. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> person, oh man. <laughs> um. So yeah, I'm in a few secret Santas this year. None of which I particularly vibe with. Uh, because it's just I keep getting people that I don't know anything about. Mm. And yeah, it's like, it's probably just bad luck this year. But I had like. Uh, Secret Santa with friends, except there were like a few mutual friends who I mm. barely knew, and like people's partners as well. Yeah, and you're like, I got a mutual friends partner. Like oh, I didn't even know the deadly. mutual that much, and then their <laughs> partner. Deadly. So Maddie helped me put together like a uh, pretty generic like girl hamper. It, I, it doesn't feel good making a generic gift, hey, for Dude. a Secret Santa. Yeah, yeah. And, and then I won't say who I got for the other one, but it was like uh, all in Maddie's family and don't know them that well, didn't know what to get them. And then the one I do with our family is a stealing Santa, oh, which is just the, the worst, worst because Dude. I've never gotten a good present from it. And my mum keeps <laughs> insisting, Mum, I know you're listening to the podcast. <laughs> and I say this to her face as well every year. The stealing Santa needs some changes because needs I'm disappointed. Go. I find that funny, anyway. actually. I love no, stealing, stealing Santa. Santa. My family does that. You would love it till you have a good present, get it oh, stolen and end though? up with we, some shit. We only, like, it's all, like, it's just all reek. Like, it's just get something in your house and just put <laughs> it in. stealing yeah. Santa. I wish it was so that, but funny. you got to go out and spend twenty dollars, which oh, is an awkward sucks. price that range. Sucks. Because for twenty dollars, you could get like a bargain, and it's something awesome. And yeah. those are the good gifts. Or for twenty dollars, you could get like a, box a of packet of socks. Or no, yeah. No, yeah. yeah, that sucks. For ours, it's just like, oh, I've got this board game I've never played. Let's chuck it in, or like just something. Yeah, at least you're not spending money. Yeah, the, the worst, and I've complained about this probably on the podcast before, but I got a pair of avocado socks and a packet of metal straws for the twenty dollar limit. And the thing that got That's stolen good, off actually. me was a massive hamper with all this like good food and homemade stuff from my grandma. Oh, oh no. And the person that stole it off me was grandma. Uh, <laughs> no, their partner said like, oh, I reckon you could steal because they had the socks and they knew it was shit. Oh, <laughs> they like hinted, they hinted at the steal. So they yeah. knew that they had the shit gift and they, yeah. oh dog. Wow. No, oh, their, like their you, partner knew. Oh, yeah. Man. And then they were just like, oh, I think that hamper looks good. That's <laughs> brutal. Yeah. No, I completely agree. I had one Christmas with a stealing secret Santa. We have never done it was again. Was this at your family? <laughs> at my family. That would not be okay. It was fucked up. What happened? My dude, and I'll take the blame here. Mum, you fucked up. She put. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'll take the blame. <laughs> Mum? No, as in like our family. So it was all the adults on like this. Right. Like they did stealing Santa and she didn't buy a gift. You know what she did? Put $30 in a box for stealing That's Secret legendary. Santa. That's and then the best. That's the best present. Everyone would be, would be so stealing it. That. Yeah. <laughs> That's yes. the problem. <laughs> That's the problem. And then so you know what else? Other people didn't spend nearly $30. Like one of them was a stubby holder. <laughs> <laughs> you could steal the $30 or you could open your mystery. <laughs> like You could probably tell it's a stubby holder. I don't know this, but like... We played it that you picked the gift, you opened it, and then that was it. So it was randomly drawn the names and the order mm. you pick them, and then you open it. And so as soon as it, like someone opens, it goes thirty dollars, awesome. Then like everyone wants to steal. Everyone's that. gonna steal it, yeah. yeah. And you open it, and you're like stubby holder. Okay, no. Wait, you get to open it and then steal? Yes. That's fucked up. Yes. <laughs> yeah, whoever goes first is just screwed. No, you yeah. have to, like, you look at your box and it's like, oh, it's a bit of a small box. Will like, I do I want to take Do I want to yeah. take the risk or do I want to steal the guaranteed $30? Because there's no risk there. It's just a guarantee <laughs> whoever goes last gets yeah. the best thing. Yeah, I think your family just fucked this up it pretty was, bad. It was a horrible Christmas. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it did not end pretty. <laughs> nah, I love the idea of re-gifting stuff. Or like you've got stuff in your house because uh, nowadays it's like 
This is just everyone's That's got so much stuff, man. Bit controversial though, because it is. Like, but giving a gift that someone else has already given yeah, you, yeah, but among is family, rude. it's chill. Yeah, that's fine. No, it doesn't even need to be a re gift. I think Jordan's just saying, or like, take something anything that you don't house. use that much. Okay. Yeah, something anything in bought. your whole house. It can be like it doesn't need to be amazing. It could be like I a c- Pokemon plushie that you just had. Sitting yeah, there. yeah. Okay, like, no, whatever. Fine. We have a few of those things. Like we got an ice cream maker because my mum was yeah. like, "Oh, you guys use an ice cream maker," and then. I was probably, I think I said no. And then Maddie was like, oh, no, that's great. Is this the snow cone <laughs> machine? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. maybe. See, I wouldn't know. Not used it. So like something like that would uh, yeah, that kind of go stuff. pretty great. In a secret I feel like well, most um, people yeah. have one thing in their house that they could like get rid of. I've mastered the art of saying no to kitchen items because I never use that shit. It's I like, say no all the time. Do you want now. a food presser? And it's like, yeah, I want to make a juice once. Dude. And then I don't want to clean it. I don't want to put it away. <laughs> and I, don't know it. I hardly know her. <laughs> Am I right? Nice. You're just like, no, I like my kitchen space. Thank you very much. Yeah, kitchen space is the best thing you can have in a kitchen. Not another appliance. You know, not nothing the best thing you can have in a kitchen. Yeah, we got a few things in the cupboard that Tell the kitchen Holly was excited space. about that have not been used I'll go again. and call it out. Holly listens to the pod. Bread maker. Like uh, a big, yeah, Holly, like, make some bread. What the fuck? <laughs> that, that big bread. Like, I don't even know what it is. It's probably, you probably know. It's like a big we have one. Bread, metal we use thick. it though. Yeah, Holly got that. She got a food processor. Yeah, process some food, Holly. What are you doing? Wait, what is the, is that like? You said juicer. Oh, juicer, juicer, juicer. Okay. You said she doesn't use these, right? Yeah, she doesn't use these. Yeah, no, I'm calling her out. She's, I think she's used all you. about a couple of times. I know you can't. You, Sorry, you want the brownie points. This but is the biggest call out ever. But make some bread. This is not the biggest call out <laughs> ever. Not, this is it. This is the one. If this is the biggest call out ever, you guys have a great relationship. <laughs> this is huge. Well, he's he's just saying. Bro. What else? What else, Jordan? I will. You can channel Honestly, it through me, and then you won't get. You won't copy. I can't think of anything else. Those are. Those he's are seen the them so infrequently that he doesn't even exactly, know what they are. Exactly. Back of the cupboard. Those yeah, are just recent insane. ones. Minimalist is like big mm. right now, isn't it's it? It's so, so hot right now. Yeah. Is it? That's yeah. so hot right That's now. So That's hot so hot right now. So hot. <laughs> Dude, I watched Zoolander for the first time this week. What that is was that? a weird segue, but I'm no, here for it. That's what it's from. So hot right now is from oh, Zoolander. <laughs> really? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. What, is Zool- what is Zoolander? You gotta watch it. It's such a good movie. Put it on your letterbox. It? No. It's, really it's uh, like early 2000s, one about. It's just making fun of models the entire time. It's oh, and really, it's really stupid. It's oh, so okay. stupid. It's really good. Should we do my scam of the week? Yeah. Hell yeah. It's a quick one. Uh, weddings are too expensive. <laughs> Yeah, didn't we? <laughs> yes, <laughs> we talked about this in the uh, video. That video no, out. I know, and I I agreed. But now nah, we went and looked at a wedding venue venue on the weekend. Oh. Uh, not one that we think oh. we're gonna go with. Oh, you have to go to quite a few. It was our first. Venues. It was our first wedding venue that me and Maddie went to check out. Oh man, it's uh, exciting. Yeah. It but is. Uh, also pretty depressing when yeah. they start talking prices. They should start and availabilities listing wedding tax. <laughs> on yeah, so they're like, oh, cake. Well, the wedding cake. They just yeah. change the one hundred to like a yeah. four thousand yeah. dollars. <laughs> like, okay. This is what I was saying. The Holly says about makeup as well. It's like makeup, wedding makeup. <laughs> it's just like as extra like, zero. <laughs> I'm thinking like, what's to stop us just not telling anyone it's yeah. for no, a wedding? Okay, Take so off the engagement ring when you go shopping for this shit. This is, I've had this they conversation sniff it out, yeah. with like another couple who just recently got engaged and he was like, I think you just like get a makeup artist. You don't tell them anything. And she goes, well, what do I say when we're Seven in the bridal people, suite? Yeah. Hey, can you do these other ladies that are all wearing the same dress? By the way, I'm in white and want a kind of natural like makeup. Yeah. It's, it's, you, you sniff can't. It out. it's like, they'll know, but yeah. then it's, they've already been booked. They're already there. What you gonna they do about it? They exactly. Wouldn't, they wouldn't. We're take doing. We're going to a part, a wedding part, like a birthday party, but the theme is wedding. <laughs> good. That, good. that yeah. is amazing. Yeah, well, yeah. You said we're going to a fake wedding to no. convince Ooh. my parents that I'm not gay. Smart. Oh, and then oh yeah. Bad. And then they feel bad. Yeah. Okay. Oh. How come? That's good. I think we can work on it so that it's f- like it's got to be foolproof. There's yeah, got to be, be like watertight. Nothing yeah. they can sniff through. So you come up with a whole backstory. These are my four actor friends who are pretending <laughs> you're my bridesmaids. I have no friends. And so what you're saying that your parents are like really old fashioned and yeah. they don't like support hyper religious family. Fact, your One sexuality. of the people mm-hmm. with you is your gay lover. Good. And then you can mm. smooch the boys to convince to, them. Yeah, yeah. To convince yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. I like this plan. You guys want to come with me when I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, me and Jordan have already yeah, kissed. Show them so the yeah. Video, yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. Okay, I'll show them the video, Smart. and then I don't think you need to do that much committing. I think if you no, just no, 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 we need to really sell this. It's, <laughs> we're saving a hundred dollars. Well, here. Sophie, getting married is all about commitment. So if it's commitment to the bit, yeah, I will commit. He'll go for it. Yeah, Zach's married to the game. He's so committed to the bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely happy that we'll probably have our wedding at Holly's like parents' house. Yeah, a lot cheaper. Yeah, yeah. when? 
I don't know. Next yeah. year. Oh, no, no year after. It's next week, we still get invited. Jordan and Holly <laughs> organising a fucking event, impossible challenge. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to have a housewarming. Yeah. Then you were like, oh, maybe we'll have an engagement party. And there's just. <laughs> yeah, we've done nothing. We've like had two houses. Just have a dinner party with like birthdays. us. Just yeah. Can we come to your house? Yeah. yeah, sure. <laughs> See, it's it's you not happening. It. It's not happening. <laughs> Zach, if you organize it, we can go. <laughs> that was the one well, thing I organized, which was the UFC, and then that, that fell through. <laughs> well, we have like us around for dinner and then end up turns into their wedding. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, might just slap them all no, together. Wants to do that. Yeah, we should just do an everything party, including <laughs> wedding. Oh, what were we talking about? Uh, we were talking about Zach thinking weddings overpriced. This is a oh, scam. Yes, yes. Oh, that was that was about big it. scam. Yeah, I agree. We're looking at some more wedding venues on the weekend. Uh, Damn, yeah. expensive as hell. Hey? Uh, my scam. You want my scam? Let's go. What's your scam? Um, so for my new channel, Peter Waggon, check it out. Woo. Uh, I'm doing this thing where I'm doing a whole bunch of glow up hacks and testing them over 30 days. What, is that like a looks thing? Um, it's like general stuff but it is kind of how up. you appear in general but it's not just looks is that the haircut uh no nah. part of it oh. yeah, he told me to do a different haircut yeah, what it does look, look good what are some glow up things Thanks. or is it spoilers for the video um, no no i'm gonna tell you one of them this one is a scam though because it doesn't fucking oh, work okay oh shit so the, the, this guy who's telling me in this video he's like a male model he's extremely good looking he's like talking like all these things are like the reason he's so fucking attractive yeah and he's like you can get a bit more of a tan if you just eat a carrot every day. <laughs> I, would you, I think you mentioned this last week. Is this real? You, have you been do continuing? I look <laughs> so, no, hey, you said last week it's not working. And I just love the, like, the image of you continuing to eat carrots I every day. I need to do for it the for the month to test the video. <laughs> but I'm sick of eating carrots every day. Have you Google fucking do anything? No, 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 it does work. It does work. No, but you need way more than one. So, like... How many, uh, how many carrots have you been eating per day? One, have you upped it? One. No, but no, we told you you had to eat more. I don't want to. So, okay, you have one raw carrot with some dip. Then in your lunch, you have shredded carrot in a sandwich. <laughs> then for dinner, you have a curry half moon carrot. We do have a lot of cooked carrots, like roast carrots with a lot of dinner, like most nights. Yeah, so Peter, it seems like yeah. you don't care at I'm all about having, this glow up I'm hack having, if you're not eating enough carrot. I'm you having my raw carrot, carrot and I'm having about one or maybe, yeah, about one cooked carrot every day. I'm having about two every day. And it's They're not saying doing you need shit. about three kilos per week of carrots. <laughs> yeah, no, so I know it works because my mum had cancer and was having ju uh, juice, like carrot juice for her health. And she was saying, yeah, I was having about eight a day and I turned orange. Eight a day? Yeah. Yeah, three hey, kilos. Yeah, step the fuck up. Yeah. Fucking guy. It's not the hack that's not working. It's your commitment this level. male model's like, you You guys could look like me too with just one <laughs> carrot a day. Hey, shut one the fuck carrot. up. How about that? Oh, do you want to know one that has worked though? Yeah, well, this is a spoiler Please. for the video. Have you guys noticed anything different about my face? Glowing. Uh, it's surely something skincare related, but I, I think it's. <sighs> hmm. Did you shave? No, something about less freckles. Glow. No, you guys have no idea. No, you're I'm, using foundation. Nope. The lipstick looks really good, by no, the way, man. No, no. Is that Eyebrows. mascara? <laughs> Eyebrows? Yes. Wow. Oh, you trimmed go. them. No, I went for that as a joke answer. Oh, oh really? <laughs> no, I um, I couldn't see anything, so I was like, lol, eyebrows. I dyed them, actually. <laughs> oh. What? Yeah. I know Hold on, lean in close. Not too close. I, I need a picture. Actually, I I'm trying to convince my after. parents that I'm gay. You can lean in <laughs> <laughs> No, not gay. Oh, lean in know. close and smooch. So, before my eyebrows- <laughs> They were really pale. Yeah, weren't they? they were really blonde, and oh. they also were like darker on the inside, and then they got blonder on the outside, so they looked like they were super short. Wait, you like proper dyed like a hair dye? Sophie did kit it for so it's like eyebrow dyeing kit, and I was like, this is kind of a strange thing to do. But then when I looked at the before and after photo, I was like, this is actually a massive improvement. Oh, and you know what else? Eyebrows thing. don't really grow or go anywhere, do they? So you should do it every four to six weeks. It's pretty do you annoying. Get, do you get regrowth? Your eyebrows. Your eyebrows are just like yeah. they're shed. Like, they're like eyelashes, and eye, like they all fall out. Like I thought that you just like no, they just shed. you had one pair, and if you lost them, no, like people go like <laughs> whoosh on their bit in the middle, and then it comes back, doesn't yeah, it? Like yeah, like plucking your monobrow. Yeah, shit. yeah, it grows back, but once they reach full length, I they don't grow longer. It's not like they world's longest eyebrows. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but you don't have like I uh, was just imagining yeah, like yeah. curtains, like yeah, no, <laughs> yeah my eyebrows down. cut. It's been yeah. a while. <laughs> yeah, went to the eyebrow hairdresser. Yeah, to anyone with super light eyebrows. Oh. Or like inconsistent ones. I would recommend checking this one out because this one actually, it, like, I'm not trying to be super vain, but after I looked at the before and after, I was like, it's actually a pretty reasonable improvement. So I do rate it. And wow. cost effective. I buy one eyebrow dyeing kit at home, and it lasts me a year, year and a half, and it's twenty bucks. And yeah, you know, like, I know most 
uh, girls, most women, do some kind of eyebrow, either dyeing or trimming or threading or something. And we as guys just kind of just like, fuck it, I'm born with these shit ones, just deal with it. But it's like, you can do it too. I do a little bit of clean up, that's about it. Yeah, gotta get rid of the monobrow. I definitely don't need the dye. Or I could get frosted tips. <laughs> yeah, but like very, you, you don't need it because you already have strong eyebrows. Yeah. And like having like yeah. thick, strong eyebrows is like mentally associated with masculinity for some reason. So just because I had light eyebrows, I was looking like you a bitch baby, basically. I'm going to need to see this before and after in it's the video. Crazy. Because I, I can't even imagine it's you. It looks like normal now. It, looks, it looks good now, so it's normal. But I'll, mm. I'll show you. My phone's getting fixed right now, so I can't show you now. But maybe you just have to subscribe to Peter Waghorn and then Shit. you can see it. Uh, my Pokemon car video went out. Yeah, nice. I saw yeah, that. that. Oh, exciting. I haven't seen it. haven't posted for like two months, so nice. Oh. big drop. Nice. Uh, in views. <laughs> 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 so You're going to join me on my New Year's challenge then. Make what, money. Make double, <laughs> double the money I'm making. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'll just like, my my money goal for next year is like, keep YouTube as my job. Yeah, fair play. Like, um, I'm trying to be more like humble over the last few months. And what does well, that- Well, you're not sitting in, down, so that's good. Not in Smash though, because my personality <laughs> nice. in Smash is just egotistical for the bit. And yeah, you don't want to do that. The Dude, the humility bit, grind obviously. is so, so hard. It's good though. What does that mean? It's hard to be humble. humble if it's not your habit. It's like so annoying. Mm. Yeah, I'm not very good at it. So because you have to admit you're wrong so much, and it's so annoying. All oh, right, interesting. Like mine is in terms of just like, do I like? I don't. I don't even know where I'm at with like what I what, like. Do I care about the views or like? Do I want to just like make the stuff I want to make? But then I'm like, what do I want to make? I'm in a bit of a, a bit of a crossroads yeah, with YouTube. Yeah, at the moment it do be like it do be like that. Ah, uh, but uh, the Pokemon video is sick. Go check it out, please. Start another <laughs> channel. That's what we're doing. That's our crossroads. Yeah, true. I don't really think that's for me. Yeah, I, yeah. I I respect the you, hustle you'll from get it you one two. Uh, but I don't have any like. Dr- I guess like if I was going to start a new channel, I should have done it when I wanted to make real life content. It's just it, it means that you can post stuff without worrying about what the old subscribers are going to think about it. So you can truly just make whatever you want, because yeah. like. I would not be posting what I'm making now on my channel because I was just like, I wanted to make stuff that wasn't as highly edited and my ed- my viewers have come to expect something that's highly edited. So it's like, Bad fuck well, it. You're, like, you're not, you're like pretty much switching up, like switching up everything. Like for, for me anyway, the reason I did my second channel is like, I still want to do Smash Bros. Like yeah. just yeah. normal, yeah. No, I'm working on a cosplay video of some kind Ooh, though. I won't okay. give too much Ooh. away, but... Very nice. I think I actually already gave it away on a previous podcast. Oh, did you? Nice. Oh, I can't remember. Might do it for Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl. Oh, maybe. that's right. Sounds funny as fuck. That would be very SpongeBob funny. SpongeBob and stuff, so... As long as you find anyone online. It's just like running out of gaming ideas and I'm just like... But then like now that I'm like, ooh, that's funny. Then it's like, yeah, yeah I'll make a gaming it. video. Sounds yeah. funny. Yeah. Yeah. I want to start making some f- short form content myself and that is inspired from a fashion. So I'm- a fa- Is that a channel? <laughs> just what? like a, like fashion has inspired me to want to make more, like want to make content. So I've been watching like oh. some myself and like getting into it a bit and seeing also just like- Ooh, Like the haul, haul videos or well, like not quite? <laughs> thrifting i feel like i'm ah, really yeah. good at i'm re- personally so i think i could be good at that but i want to get over my fear of being on camera like by myself like i know I've yeah you just gotta send it hey it's tough i've been in tons of like underdogs videos and stuff but i'm really scared myself to back my own yeah stuff and be on my ca- be on camera alone being like this is what i'm doing because i like when you're in a group you're like yeah i'm here everyone's doing it this is all what we're here for but i was like that for ages i would just like secretly upload youtube videos not tell my friends only record videos when my family like went out the house and i'd be like <laughs> guys i'm on minecraft that's <laughs> the se- the real secret to it is to start a new account and not tell the people you actually know in real life about it until yeah. it's successful that's why mm. i'm just gonna but i think don't do that why I think just do it. No, but cares? like people trying and not succeeding in making Looks content bad. is a bad look. Nah. No, it, yeah. it is. Nah. I know that you're just like happy go lucky. Nothing can go or wrong. Like if you bring it up. It's a no, social but like if, if, But if you're posting on your social <laughs> media that used to just be your personal account. Oh, that's different. Oh, oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Make a new account. Oh, I get you. I get you. I get and like, you. sure, you can be like, I make this stuff, but it's not like you're just shoving it in your friend's yeah. faces oh, on your personal. No, completely different. Yeah. I understand. So, so like, you got to make your own thing and then just yes. like, if it starts popping off, the results are in, like the proof is in the pudding. So yes. you don't need to feel a little bit awkward about it. 
Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So that's the real secret. It was pretty funny because Sophie's great at posing in photos and I'm shit at posing in photos, <laughs> but I'm good at acting natural in videos and she's not very good at acting natural in videos. So it's quite yeah. funny. We kind of teach each other those ones because... Yeah, making mm. content's a bit of both. Well, posing yeah. for photos looks so unnatural when you see it in real life. Oh, it feels terrible I learned too. this, like, dating Maddie because she does modelling. And, like, I'm sure you've seen it, like, taking photos of Sophie. It's like, Maddie tells me this shit that's like, oh, just poke your head out like an ostrich. Or, like, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's like long, like, putting your head forward and just, like, posing in different ways. Yeah. It looks great in pictures. But looks, then, like... feels you, really uncomfortable. Yeah, you're standing there, like, look, trying to look like an ostrich. It's <laughs> like, yeah, put, you, put your arm up it's here. natural. Now bring it back a bit, and I'm like, I would never do this. Yeah, like, yeah. But, but then you get yeah. a crispy, nice-looking photo. Yeah. Yeah. Should we finish up with the pop one question of the week? Yeah, we should. Sure. Do you want to press the button, Zach? I don't know. Or did we do. already have that with... No, can, no. What was it? Why do we eat pigs? Let me think. It's the pop one question of the week. Um... I don't know how to word this as a question, but how long do you think, or how smart would something have to be to survive, like, without emotions? Like, how long do you reckon a thing could survive if it had no emotions? Jellyfish. Aren't animals not very emotionful? Yeah. No. Oh, sorry. I don't know if this is the right word then. Like, intuitive, emo- like, I think, like, all most thinking comes from emotions, right? Um, you know what I mean? So just like it's uh, not like you IQ everything. Give like me, a, just give me an animal. Uh, yeah, a dog. All right, so a dog that doesn't have feelings. It's just a psychopath, then, right? Yeah, like like it has to IQ everything, like a robot would. It would be fucked. Oh, so it's intelligent. Yeah. What do you mean by survive? Wouldn't it survive the longest? Because it was just yeah. intelligent. Have any emotions, and they're pretty good at surviving, like a big tree. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, this question doesn't make like any a, sense. Like a yeah. human, then a human a pers- thing. Okay. Maybe a human that has no emotions. What? They just. Could yeah, it so it's born? a human that thinks like a robot. Yeah. Because okay. you'd be screwed, right? You'd be born, and you wouldn't even know you have to eat food. How long would it take you to figure that out? Is hunger oh. an emotion? I think. Yeah. That's an in- yeah it's a instinct. Feel- instinct. Oh. I think that's like a survival instinct. That's okay. not an emotion. Well, you got pretty bad parents if you're just like, oh, baby's never hungry, and then it just dies after like a week. I was thinking like of a, a species of humans then that have no emotions, like the AI. Surely the this robot person would calculate like my body needs food. Yeah, you but wouldn't how feel long would hungry? it take to figure that out? Food? Yeah, I guess it's like, oh, I'm really low energy. What do we usually do when this happens? Oh, mum's got a bottle of milk. Are instincts yes, please. emotions? What? What are instincts? Survival God, this is just the worst question, emotions. isn't it? <laughs> it is, yeah. it is the worst. Just doing this so we can cut the last one out. How come when I have a nap, I'm like imprint, imprinted, but when I sleep, I'm not? <laughs> <laughs> what do you, what does you know when the bed sheets give you the lines yeah, all over like you? Like if I have a nap, I look like I've just like joined a tribe when I wake up. I've got like... <laughs> All kinds of fucking like facial what? markings. Yeah, and I've got markings everywhere. Yeah, no, I, I like this one. The only thing I can think of is that because you're like awake during the day, your body, you have like your blood flow is like flowing more. You know, the, you know, like I more think it's to a the temperature skin thing, and right? Yeah, your oh, body maybe. temperature is higher during the day. Maybe you're more so, malleable when you're warm. <laughs> Like you're yeah. like a metal, you know. Yeah, you guys have this as well. Yeah, it's not yeah, just yeah. me. Well, okay. I don't, I don't nap. Like, oh, I like, cr- like everywhere. It's just like lines and shit. My answer would be most times when you go down for a nap, it's not prepared, so you're kind of like not in like a bed that's made. You're not in the right clothes. Oh, you're just in rumpled you're, shit you're, on top yes, of random things. Yes. So no, but even when I sleep well, I feel maybe though. Like I'm like, do I just like just like nap so hard that uh, I'm yeah, just like and <laughs> also the, you don't move at all. Bed. Yeah, the, like a shorter <laughs> sleeping time might mean you're just lying in the same position so that you're getting that imprint for like say an hour oh 20 minutes, i've got 90 it. minutes all right sleep science coming in clutch Ooh. this is my theory so when you go to sleep just like regular night sleep you have way more deep sleep towards the start of the night and then you have a lot more rem sleep towards the end of the night and deep sleep is when your body is moving around the least 
So ah. when you nap, because it's like essentially the start of sleep, you'll probably have a very high amount of deep sleep, which means you'll be moving, moving a lot less. Mm. Oh, do, you, do you reckon? So you're not going to be tossing and turning. If you wake up in the middle of the night during your deep sleep, you'd have all the lines on you, but it's we dark. go back into the light sleep and then you roll around and they all go off you before you wake yeah, up. I don't well know that, that, notice that's it. my I, theory. That can't be true, but maybe. What? I just see it. Like, like, like towards the end. I being imprinted in like the middle of the night well, when you like wake up to go to the it's toilet. dark. Yeah, that's yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right, you're dark. right. Maybe, maybe you just wake up when it's dark and when you nap, it's light. And then you can, maybe you always have the lines, you just can't see them. <laughs> but they do yeah, go away test it. pretty quickly. Like They do, they do. Yeah. This is this is one maybe of your tonight, best questions. At 1 a.m. I'll wake up and like, turn the light on. Sorry, Holly. And I just see. <laughs> yeah. Holly, <laughs> are there lines on me? <laughs> Tell me. Jordan like flicks on the light and in the mirror it's just like I'm imagining some horror like shit written on your face this is a paranormal activity you don't want to wake up after an hour yeah that's true but yeah you're gonna knock so imprinted it's a great question I don't know but we've got a good few theories I think all of our theories are also pretty good too I have no idea which, which one's true normally our theories are also bad none of them could be true but now they're also good any of them could be true I do like the idea of like Jordan going for his nap and he just like trips and lands wherever. And then like, instead of getting nice and comfy, just like, like (laughs) sleeping. That's kind of like like when you nap. Yeah, like some people like just fall asleep on the washing pile on that side of the bed. They're like, oh, (laughs) fuck. Yeah, I nap so quick when I need to nap. It's like in minutes. And I'm like, well, I'm awake. Great question of the week, Joel. Thank you, thank <laughs> you. I'm glad there wasn't a much worse one before. <laughs> Took us three tries, but we got there. No, I was thinking the intuition is crazy for the previous question that may or may not have been getting yeah, cut what, out. What inspired that first no, that's one? The, I, was that's watching, left I was watching the uh, the final episode of Chimp Empire. I don't know if you guys have You've heard it. talked about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was watching that and it's just like the girls just leave the tribe so they don't have incest. But like, so how smart. would they figure? Like, or animal like wolves and stuff do that. Like, they just leave their pack to yep. like the girls do to join like another pack. But like, how would, well, how long would it take to figure out? That it's instinct. That's what I mean. And it's from evolution. It's no, like incest. they don't. But like, like if you had IQ, how long, it would be like impossible. <laughs> yeah, to but figure the, out. the thing is, like with with these things, they're like when when an animal does something that seems intelligent. So like, I was watching this documentary on ants. Yeah. Oh wait, John, did you hear that? No, yeah, Dial in, mate. Yeah, this yeah. Have, you about, have you heard about this one where they use uh, antibiotic spit on each other? <laughs> Is that so just for ants? Antibiotic. Anti- yeah, antibiotic. <laughs> they made it up. Sorry. They discovered so antibiotics. They like the army ants. They go and they lose legs and shit when they go to fight stuff. Yeah. And when they come back, the nurse ants spit on them with antibiotic, and it's like the only animal aside from humans that uses antibiotics. That's Whoa. sick. And it's like, do they know that? No. Nah, ants are smart as fuck. But they through do. evolution, the ones that spat on each other, this is like by random chance. That's one just I mean, decided yeah. to spit one day. <laughs> by random chance, those ones live longer and now they all do it. So like- That's what I mean. They, so imagine if like you were born with no instincts and only oh, IQ. Oh, you'd be fucking useless. That's what, yeah, that's what my question well, was. What if, you'd never figure that out. What if we have too many emotions stopping us from doing stuff? Like I've never spat on mm, people- like oh, fucking live a little, you random bitch. Yeah, I've not. Well, I've not spat on <laughs> random people. Oh, okay. Uh, only, only good friends. Yeah, but 